today's video um, is going to be a little bit shorter and sweeter and I may actually post more than one video this weekend because I didn't post one the last weekend. And I meant to update y'all but I had a dance show, um, so super busy, rehearsals, show, you know, everything going on so I'm super sorry I didn't get a video out but this weekend I may have more than one video. Um, so in today's video it's just going to be short, sweet, simple, and many of y'all asked me, you were like, how much time do you spend reading your Bible after my study method video? Because I have a lot of notes and like there's a lot of that, uh, a lot of stuff packed in there, and so y'all were like, how much time do you read your Bible? And truthfully, I do not spend hours reading my Bible every day. If I spend an hour, it's a great day. And that's just the plain truth. And I want y'all to know I'm not perfect. My relationship with the Lord is not perfect. And I'm trying my hardest to spend more time with Him. I'm trying different things that I need to change about my life so that I can do that. And I'm just trying... I know I'm never going to be perfect, but I want to try my best. And honestly, right now, there's a lot going on. And to, right now is like a valley in my life. If you've heard the song Hills and Valleys by Tarmos. Love that song. Love Tarmos. But um, so right now, I feel like I'm in a valley. So right now is one of the times where I'm like really trying to get my focus. That's bothering me. Back on the Lord and... um. Yeah, so let's get on with this video, um, and I don't think I told you what it is, but this video is what I do for my shorter devotion, so like if I don't wake up early enough or something like that, just a little quick um, 30 minutes type devotion that I like to do. So yeah, let's get going. Okay, so for this devotion, I have, I use my study Bible just so that it can be a quick, easy read, but I also get lots out of it because I read the, and I'll explain this more in a second, but I read the passage or the chapter or whatever, and then I read the footnotes, and so that way I'm just getting a lot out of it, but it doesn't take forever, um, like processing and dissecting this scripture. And then this is my notebook that I use for these short devotions, and it's super cute. I love this notebook. So yeah. Um, here is what I do. So here's one page of my notes for this type of devotion. And what I do is I write, so I was going to read through the Bible like Oh, I still am. And I'm actually doing a plan on the Bible app with my mom, one of my best friends, and her mom. And we're doing a read through the Bible in, in a year plan. But two years ago, I was like, I'm going to read through the Bible my, by myself. I'm just going to read one chapter a day. And I was doing great. Didn't make it through Genesis. Still not done with Genesis, <laughs> um, to be honest. But I was studying other ways. But I'm just going to keep going with this for my quick devotion. I may take a detour off the reading through the whole Bible one chapter at a time and do like something else for my quick devotions. But that's like my main setting idea type thing. Um, so yeah, here are my notes. I write where I'm reading, what it's called. Um, that says with study Bible because I got... My study Bible after I'd started doing this, and so, yeah. Um, and then next, I do prayer. So I literally, okay, I've told you guys this before. I don't love writing out my prayers all the time. Like, it feels different for me. So that's not one of my huge things that I do all the time. I am actually trying to get better at that so that I can see how God has brought me through things. But one way that I have um, done that makes it a little bit easier for me and works better for me is what I do here. I take bullet points and just kind of summarize what I'm praying about. Like I don't write it word for word. It's just like I prayed for our nation today. 
um, and you know that kind of thing. So then this is my notes. So I read through it and take notes and then down here I read through it again and or look at the footnotes with it and take notes based off of that. Then I also usually have this little sticky note. I drew that one. Let me see. Usually I just stick a sticky note in there, but apparently I was feeling very crafty um, that day. So I drew one. But yeah, so I drew it all sticky note and I call it my things to think about. And I just write some questions that I may have. And um, I have talked to like Sunday school leaders and that kind of thing about my questions and it's been a fun discussion to have with other believers um, to talk about what we think, what's going on and you know some interesting um, questions. So as I said, short, sweet, simple, that's literally all I have to say about that. But yeah, that's my that's what I like to do when I don't have tons of time. It takes me about 30 minutes depending on how long the um chapter is. Sometimes I split the chapter in half or like do it by um section that the Bible splits it up in like you know, how the Bible does that. It's like Abraham's sons. Abraham and his son. Like, you know, splits it into multiple sections. I can't talk right now. Or, well, explain, process, you know, that kind of thing. It's kind of late. Um, I'm recording at night again because that's just when it works best for me to record for y'all. But I like doing stuff at night. So, yeah. Um, but that is how I do my quicker devotions. Get up, coffee, do this. And I don't always do this in the morning. Like, I may do it that night because I was like, didn't get up. In enough time that morning so I'll do it at night but yeah so that is my quick way of doing my devotion another resource that I use when I do a quick Bible study is the YouVersion Bible app plans those are amazing you can do them with your friends on the Bible app and everything it's so great um, I do those a lot in the mornings too um, just to keep my day started because it's quick, easy, and on my phone. And maybe I'll include a little video on here of, like, my plan stuff on the Uversion Bible app and how to find plans and stuff. But that is it. Real quick, this is kind of funny. But here's my glasses. I'm not wearing them in this video if you didn't notice. Um, I don't need to wear my glasses all the time. I just need to wear them when I read and I'm, like, at church or at school I'm looking up and down but it's some weird thing that my eyes do and they overwork and you know weird stuff like that so I may not always wear my glasses I have worn them a lot lately these are a new pair and so yeah silly little side note <laughs> I once again got completely sidetracked um but I really hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time be a light for Jesus guys